We've got a change of scenery here, guys, uh, out of the EG studios and into office day week. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things for Unreal Tournament 3 for the PS3. And the first of those things is just how easy it is to install a mod or a mutator into your PS3 version of uh, Unreal Tournament 3. So we're going to take a look at this. It's really easy to do. And uh, let's find out just what is involved in order to put a modification onto your PS3. So I've already downloaded this Action Cam, uh, which is one of the latest Unreal Tournament mods that comes out. Of course, you just download it. It's very small. And it's going to come in a directory that actually says PS3. So of course, I'm going to take my little USB memory stick, just about anything that the Sony will read. I'm going to plug that into uh, my USB port and then of course I'm just going to open it up to view files. Now I'm going to take this PS3 directory and I'm literally going to drag it right onto my stick. Um, if you already have a PS3 directory there it may ask you to overwrite files. So now we have uh, this PS3 mod right here on this memory stick and this is where it gets really cool guys. So you go ahead and you install that memory stick into your PS3 and over here on uh, your, uh, your PS3 screen, you're just going to go down to Community. And when you go there, there's only a few options, but the one you want is My Content. You click on My Content, and it will show you what you typically have installed. Now, I don't have anything installed here yet, so I'm going to hit Square to import content. And, of course, it finds my USB device right there. Uh, it says Flash Memory, so I go ahead and uh, it finds the data automatically. Go ahead and hit Yes to import the data. It takes just a few seconds. Uh, says Import is completed. And now you can see that I have Action Cam here inside my uh, Unreal Tournament for PS3. Now, how do you use this then? You can just go directly into Instant Action, um, go ahead and go into, say, Deathmatch, and then we're going to go over to the settings. Excuse me. Uh, we're going to pick a map first. Uh, we'll just pick Defiance. And then you, now you're at the settings. You go ahead and you hit Square to reach Mutators, and you'll see here that down below, I now have Action Cam there in the mutator. So I go ahead and hit triangle to add that, uh, X to accept, and now I can start my game. We'll begin the mission, and in just a moment you are going to see that uh, you've got action cam enabled. Now, there's not a whole lot of mods out for the PlayStation version of Unreal Tournament 3 yet, but now that the UT Mod Cooker is available to the community, it's making it much easier for these guys to move their content from the PS3 over, uh, or from the PC over to the PS3. So, I've already got my keyboard and mouse hooked up, but you're gonna see this here in a second. The match will begin, and uh, you'll see that, look at this, we ha now have a uh, thir uh, third or sort of like a Gears of War style uh, modification here. Now you do, you do lose a couple things. I actually think this feels really, really great. And if you guys like the way that Gears of War moves, um, you can see that you get a little bit more, uh, you get a little bit more like freedom. Uh, and, I, and I honestly feel like the mouse and keyboard responds pretty nicely to this. So here's just a great example of uh, how, the, how the mod is work for Unreal Tournament 3 on the PS3 and just how easy it is to actually install this uh, right onto your PlayStation 3. So that is going to conclude part one. In just a second, I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to get your keyboard and mouse working.